big hit for Lance Berkman there. Manny's are on the board. Here comes Hardy, who has struggled this postseason, hitting 222 after being good for a 373 regular season average. And it was a mistake pitch. He was all over it, but he hit it right at someone. But anyway, so the 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 Mannies are able to get themselves back into the game despite that crushing double play after that. I think it was a eight pitch at bat. Maybe yeah, it was like six like or seven. That. I don't know. Was... I mean, it went full, so it was. Um, and there were at least like three or four foul balls. So yeah, quite a few. Um, and I'd like to take a moment um, in order to avoid speaking about um, certain AL East teams today, I think we should make a resolution to just make fun of Ice Hawk. <laughs> Is there anything in particular you'd like to make fun of Ice Hawk for? Just Alex? in general, because Ice Hawk has been um, messaging me like every day, making fun of the Red Sox. And of course I have been too, but Detroit right now after winning tonight is up to 11 and 10 on the season. <laughs> So they are exactly so they're one game over one 500 game in front of the Red. In fact, they're half a game in front of the Red Sox right now. And you, you know the the sad part is because of the divisions, that's probably still good for first place. Yeah, they're tied for first. Uh huh. Yeah, because that division is beyond a joke. Yeah. There is no. They should just. We should just abolish the AL Central playoff spot. And give extra team or extra places to teams from the east and west. Yeah, just two divisions and three wild cards. Makes yep. more sense. Exactly. We need to get you on a letter to Bud Selig. Yeah. Anyway, up steps Beltran, who doubled his first time up. If only I thought that they could continue being a 500 team, I would really make fun of him. But I think, unfortunately, they they'll play their own division enough that they should get punished. <laughs> yeah. win. It's it's really unfortunate. I'm I'm not happy about that. Holy shit! And Bel- Beltron hit 161 in the regular season, the uh, only only regular starter on the team with an OPS um below like 600. <laughs> Sick pitch by Carpenter there. Oh, and two to Weeks. Yeah. He's all over it, but crowns it to the first baseman, and Beltron just gets back. Or maybe he was all. Maybe that wasn't as close as I thought it was. So, anyway, up comes uh, Holiday. He's gonna look at ball one. Mistake pitch. He's all over it, but I think he's gonna hit it right to the left fielder. Yep. It's the second time that's happened. Oh, and that was the end of the inning. So they strand yeah. Beltran yet again. Don't you love how mistake pitches turn into outs far more often than good pitches? I know. <laughs> It is rather amazing. So Scott Downs comes in. Yeah, Scott Downs in relief, uh, regular season, a 6.08 ERA. Um, has been effective, a 2.70 in the, here in the postseason. Well, this is this is not a good start. A-Rod hits one off the wall. He's going to second. The throw comes in, not in time. Ooh, weak relay by the second baseman there. Yeah, very, very weak. And this one is clobbered to left field, but it's going to hook foul. He was all over that pitch, though, was Mark Teixeira, who has a pair of singles. Yep, hitting over 300 here in the postseason. I wish he could do that for the Yankees at any part of the season. <laughs> hey, if you just ignored April every year, he could. He probably does it. He'd probably win batting titles. Well, yeah. maybe. This one's clobbered deep to left field. It is high, far, and gone. So the Yankees on this team contribute for two more runs and the Cubs take a 5-1 game two lead off of Scott Downs. This is not what the Mannies wanted here at home in danger of going down 0-2 in this series. And then of course they'll, they'll they'll head to Wrigley Field where, and if you know, if if Joey Bats can't hit homers in Wrigley Field, then. I I just, I mean, then what's wrong with the universe? And the hit parade continues. This is, this has got to be like hit number 12 or something for this team. And that's it for Scott Downs. He records no outs and is yanked for Takashi Saito. That went well. So Takashi Saito, who um, tied for the team lead with wins with uh, a 3-3 three and three record and a 5.40 ERA in relief, okay. um, pitched 15 games in the regular season. The- and he fares no better thus far. 
who the fuck pitched the other game? What did the last game end up? Eight, eight, nothing. I think something like that. So they're being outscored thirteen to one thus far, and it doesn't show any sign of uh, improving. Will, it is worth noting that Saito has been effective so far in the postseason coming into this game with a 1.29. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah. It's something my bullpen would, you know, be heavily improved by. And like I said, the aggressiveness of these Cubs, they stay out of the double play now. You would think that the second best um, pitcher in baseball, second best catcher in baseball will be able to throw out more base runners. But uh... <laughs> I know that's this is the Cubs stealing. True. The cat, the cat, the second best. Oh, yeah. So who, who is it for war? Because oh, it's Mike Napoli. So yeah, the first baseman can't throw out base runners. That makes sense. So that's gonna be. Oh, that's the final out. Okay, I thought there was gonna be another one. So, I mean, the the Manny's have it all to do, but they can hit, score so runs in bunches. Twelve hits for the Cubs. Nine hits for the Manny's, but they only have one run out of it. Yep. I mean, th- I mean, they are capable of scoring runs in bunches, but. They just they haven't been able to do it. Everything's been hit right at an outfielder. So should be interesting. Mike Napoli, who walked in his last at bat and then was part of the double play by uh, Batista, files that one up and out over the screen. The one and two. And he misses very badly to strike out. Carpenter's yep. first strikeout of the game. Yeah, Carpenter here into the sixth inning against the Mannies and um, after coming off that shutout in game one, uh, or the, his game against the uh, underachievers. I don't know, six innings of only giving up one run against the Mannies is probably more. And he, he has made both Napoli and Batista look very poor in back-to-back at-bats with strikeouts there. So he's just getting stronger as the game's going on. I know that's becoming a cliche to say with pitchers now. And... effect. <laughs> And he uh, he gets out of the inning, so it's five to one now, and uh, the Cubs come up to do potentially more damage with Lomo leading off. Yeah, so Lomo oh, over three so far this game, so his batting average is finally probably uh, down to a paltry three sixty or something, and he gets pegged by the pitch. I haven't even seen that happen in this game. So I've seen it once or twice. It's lucky he didn't get injured. You've Got a, that's one of the few places that you actually seem to get injuries in this game. Oh, really? Yeah, that would have not, not have been good for Chris. In, <laughs> uh, Probably his best chance of winning this, of War's best chance of winning this series. <laughs> Start taking him out, boys. I could see War issuing a destro- cease and, or seek and destroy order with his pitchers. Granderson is going to lift that into, nope, caught by the second base. You see a lot of those drop in, so I'm, I'm kind of jumping the gun there. A-Rod, who singled his last time up, before, or doubled, I should say, before getting uh, driven in by the Teixeira homer. And Saito is gassed out there. But he managed to get A-Rod to fly out. Is that ethnically insensitive? <laughs> yes. Very much so, and you should feel bad. But it's no more insensitive than 90% of the things that you say. About yeah, and hey, there's a, there's a good chance that Ninety percent of board eight baseball listeners don't know about the Tokyo nerve gas attacks. So, I mean, I didn't. So I just it seemed uh, it seemed like something that you would pick out as a historical event that happened and is incredibly horrifying. Mm-hmm. Well, you're just you're just generally horrifying. I I, I do my best. Um, <laughs> the next time the next time I uh, I. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't Note want to break that it's not here. racist. It's offensive, but it isn't racist. <laughs> so you're... That's ended racism, and I'm keeping <laughs> that out of these games. <laughs> wow. Sticking to that silly pledge, huh? Hey, as um, you remember when Chris was com- – oh, you might not have listened to that game. When Chris commentated with me, he, uh, he, he made sure that I support that pledge and re-upped my uh, support. So, Well, this, this ball has popped up on the infield so the man is going out with a whimper rather than a roar it seems like <clears throat> in this game anyway okay. still a lot of baseball what? left to be played are, are you really surprised that a board eater is not going to go out with a bang <laughs> well we can't all be warning crazy 
<laughs> or Revolver Sorrow. Whoever, which one was it that suicided recently? Uh, although, I, uh, what should, I'm trying to remember the old. Who was it who turned out to be a pedophile today? What? Uh, Raka Raka Putra or whatever posted the got... topic wanting pictures of one of the some guy when he said he was 14 years old. Oh my! Oh yeah, yeah, that guy's strange. And this one is going to get out. I am predicting that it is long gone. That one was crushed by. Who is that, Alec? Fuck, do I know? <laughs> <laughs> 48. Uh, he hits in front of Beltran. Uh, in front of Beltran, then it is going to be Hafner, I believe. Prompt. You know what? I thought that initially. I just didn't realize he actually played for this team yeah. or at all still. Beltran has a pair of homers um, for this team this postseason. Two of his three hits coming into this game, although now he added a, sing- a double and a single to the total. Carpenter's still going strong. Two and two. Mistake pitch, and I just, when you've got power swing on, and it's a mistake pitch right down the middle, like it's a meatball, and you weakly ground out to the second baseman, that just sort of explains the day that the Mannies are having right now. And the first pitch is immediately hit for a single up the middle by the Cubs. Hmm. How many, how are the Cubs doing in real life? (laughs) Yeah. I think I think they've started to turn it around a little bit, and by turn it around, I mean like win a game or two here or there. Yeah, they're they're um, four and six, or in their last, so they were four and five before today's loss. So, um, in their last yes. nine, so Ichiro, who's um, a single and a pair of stolen bases so far this game. Well, the, the initial single was canceled out by another, another double play. There are a lot of double plays in this game, it seems like. Or maybe I'm just biased because my team has managed to hit into double plays in all sorts of ways. We've flown out into, you know, the, the assisted ones. We have popped up bunts to get <laughs> caught 